What's up guys, Ninebot here, and welcome to another Elite Dangerous Odyssey Alpha video. This one's got me a little confused, irritated, can't quite decide right now, but uh, FDev have reacted to the community feedback about the genetic sampler minigame in the exobiology that was introduced in the latest phase. So I'm just going to toss this on the screen from one of the community managers, Bruce G. Greetings, Commanders. Thank you for all the feedback so far on Phase 3. We've collected and shared many of your comments with the development team and will continue to do so for the rest of the phase. Here's an update on two of the most pressing issues. The genetic sampler. We've heard you loud and clear about the sampling minigame mechanics in place with an Elite Dangerous. We understand that a manual reactions-based minigame is not a good fit in this context and will remove it in time for launch or shortly after. Instead, the tool will take samples automatically expect exact implementation to be determined. This may mean that the circles instead appear only to indicate the level of sample completion, e.g. sample 1 completes the first reading, sample 2 the second, and sample 3 the third. I'm not going to get into the detailed surface scanner thing, there's a bug they talked about that we already knew was a bug. I'm sorry, what, FDev? We didn't like the gameplay, so instead of trying to make something better, you just removed a chunk of gameplay, so now we're going to stand there and just watch a circle fill up? Um, no. No. I heard plenty of other things you could do. I'm going to put some footage up right now on the screen from, uh, let me make sure I say this right, Toro Wolf. It's uh, an alternative that they made for the uh, scanner. And it looks like a neat little non-timed minigame. Uh, you could have done something in line with scanning planets in the uh, planetary system scanner. I can't remember the name of it. FSS. There it is. Um, the full spectrum scanner. There's there's lots of other things you could do. You could not even have to have the interaction take place when you collect the sample. We could collect the sample and then go back to Vista Genomics and then have to analyze it there. Taking gameplay out is not the solution to this, and it feels like a cop out, and it feels lazy on their part. Um, I'm. Not sure what else I expected at this point in some ways because I haven't been real pleased with some of the alpha stuff, uh, but this one's bad. This one is, we took your feedback and instead of doing something constructive with it, we just said, screw it, take it out of the game. It's not a positive sign going forward and I, I don't like it. Uh, and also the fact that they may remove it shortly after launch. I mean, if you're going to take it out, get it out before you launch the product because people who aren't alpha testers are going to be super confused. I, I don't know. I didn't intend for this one to be a long video. I just had to say something because I'm so flabbergasted by this. So what do you guys think they could do here to maybe spruce up this gameplay? Because right now it's going to be really boring. Scan planet, land the planet, point gun it, thing, repeat. There's got to be something they could add to make it more engaging. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video. Hit like, subscribe, smash the uh, bell, uh, bell, I can't even talk, I'm so annoyed. Smash the bell icon so you know when I put up new videos. It really helps me out when you guys sub, but that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to come check us out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash DimeBot. We live stream every day. That being said, I am DimeBot, and I will see you guys next time.